This photograph of a 1956 Ford pickup truck photographed in an alley next to an old Quonset hut is one of my favorite photographs by far. I shot it about a year and a half ago here in El Segundo. The business is called Link Motorsport. The guy in the picture is Brandon. He's the owner of that small business. And they take, uh, they take pickup trucks and make pickup trucks from scratch and turn them into off-road vehicles for like the Baja 500 kind of road race, things like that. Uh, the, so the story sort of goes that I had shot this image just after finishing that AmeriQuest uh, airship picture, which was very difficult, and I was really looking to do something much more comfortable, easy, not super stressful and taxing. I had been but driving by this little Quonset hut for several years, and I always kind of thought to myself, you know, that would make a great picture someday. So. And then I stopped, took a look at the Quonset hut, you know, kind of from the outside, and walked into the business and asked if I could sort of take a look around. Inside the shot, there was guys who were smashing and, you know, dicing and slicing hunks of metal and welding and grinding. It was very loud and kind of wild and talked with the owner and he said, yeah, take a look around. And so when I did, I noticed they also had this really beautiful old pickup truck was sort of a part of my idea for a photograph was you know, putting an old truck next to this old Quonset hut, making it look kind of charming. Anyway, after we talked for a little while, um, I asked Brandon if I can take some photographs someday. He explained that I'm the first guy that ever actually asked him to do this. A lot of people come by and photograph their old Quonset hut. You know, they do it at night, they take some quick art shots and they split. Once they found a surfboard in the back of the truck, somebody had left there after taking some pictures. Anyway, we arranged to do the shot, you know, a few weeks down the road and uh, it was very nice. We kind of got the old truck together. What was going to happen, unfortunately, is that the truck itself was dead. All the tires were flat, the engine didn't work. The whole thing was kind of a mess, in addition to the Quonset hut, which I loved. On the actual day of the photograph, I showed up with all my equipment, and Brandon had spent the whole morning putting the truck back together. He got the tires fixed, the engine was actually turning over. There's no chairs or anything inside of it, no seats, anything like that. But we were able to actually, you know, kind of move the truck into position, which made it much easier having a motor that actually runs. Uh, myself, Brian Ferguson, a good friend of mine, uh, Brandon and his whole crew were sort of pitching in together to compose the truck and the props and the axles and tires and everything else we can sort of find in the set and put it actually into that small little environment where it fits, which was not easy. We were kind of shooting in this tight alley space. So it was very tight fit, but it worked out well. Toward the end of the shot, as I sort of had most of the composition put together, you know, I was looking through the camera and kind of explaining to the guys, hey, could you move those, you know, 400 pound axles like three inches more forward? And they were going, hell no, we're not gonna move them. And I said, you know, dudes, this, we're not just throwing junk into a dumpster, we're composing art. And they explained, they're, they're just kidding. Yes, of course, we'll move the axle. No, no, no. So I know sometimes when I'm on a shoot, I, I kind of focus on the shoot and maybe less on social graces. And so I try to watch that. Brian's very good with that, keeping me calm. Anyway, toward the very end, when we had most of the composition together, it looked really nice. It was as tight as we can get for this small space. I uh, was trying to think of one more, what could we add one more little thing to the shot to make it really authentic? And Brian mentioned that if you want to be really authentic, you know, you should have some beer in the photograph. So lo and behold, <laughs> Brandon's refrigerator came equipped with a 12 pack of Coors Light. So that worked out really great. I grabbed it, put a few of those on the running board and a few of them on the ground as it should be. And everybody was sort of sitting around relaxing, drinking some beers anyway, and it worked out really good. This is Friday afternoon, you know, in the summertime, it was really comfortable. So as the shoot sort of progressed, we, you know, we're doing nicely. It got to be sunset, a lot of people showed up, you know, Brandon's dad, his mom couldn't make it, she was out of town. Um, his girlfriend, her parents, you know, a lot of other friends and family and the employees showed up. And we sort of did the shot together. They sort of relaxed in the beach chairs while I did the photograph. <coughs> And it was kind of a nice little experience. During the whole time, I was kind of thinking to myself, gee, was it really such a good idea putting the beer in the photograph? Because these guys, after all, are, you know, welding with plasma cutters and grinding and cutting, and it's dangerous stuff, and maybe having the beer included was not the smartest move, but it was the way it goes. And just as it was time for Brandon to take center stage and, you know, kind of come up, and he's the guy in the picture, you know, doing the welding and having the sparks flying, I realized just at that point, it really works perfectly because these guys are all drinking light beer. They are conscious of the fact that it's safety is the number one concern. And it kind of made me feel glad that it was, it was like uh, sort of a solution to that dilemma in my head. 
anyway, we, you know, finished the shot up. After everything was said and done, everybody had a good time. I just love the photograph now after putting it all together. I sort of love the soft light that falls on the shadows of the fenders. You know, the big rounded sort of 50s fenders with the beautiful light on the top sort of fading into darkness. It looks so much, in my mind, like food, as all photographs should look, somewhat like a food photograph with that sort of round, soft curves and crunchy little bacon bit edges. Anyway, that's just how I see pictures often. Anyway, that's the story of the uh, 1956 pickup truck and old Quonset hut. It's one of my favorites.